Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use clockwise notation to specify the padding of an element. So instead of specifying an element's padding top, padding right, padding bottom, and padding left property individually, you can specify them all in one line, like this. And they've got padding, and then it's a colon, a space, 10 pixels, and then space, 20 pixels, space, 10 pixels, and the space, 20 pixels. So we've got our top, right, padding bottom, and padding left. Our top, right, bottom left. These four values work like a clock, top right, bottom left, and will produce the exact same result using the side specific padding instructions. When they say side specific, they would, could say padding, uh, it, it would be something like uh, padding top would be 10 pixels, and then uh, padding right would be 10 pixels, and then padding uh, right left uh, bottom would be 10 pixels, and they should all have colons in them. But instead of doing that, you can just say, you know, padding uh, 10, 20, like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we want to use clockwise notation to give the blue box a class, class a padding. So here we've got our different CSS classes, and then this is the blue box one. And the class is uh, distinguished with a period here. So periods are, in classes you have periods. And we want to have a padding of 40 pixels on its top. So we're going to say padding 40 pixels on top, on its top. And so in a blue box, if you're watching this, you can see that it's actually changing. So the 40 pixels on the top gives us that. Um, 40 pixels on its top and left side, but only 20 pixels on its bottom and right side. So we go top and then right, so it wants 20 pixels on its right. Um, and then our next one is bottom, and on its bottom we want 20 pixels. And then on its left we want 40 pixels. And you'll see that it keeps moving the padding. The little padding thing is moving around each time we do that. And that's how you do that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next lesson.